Good morning, we're live. Jordan Ginn here, PSP staff out of London, Ontario. Servicing Southwestern Ontario. We're here for a functional core strength class this morning. We're gonna give it a moment here. Uh, let some people join in. Ryan's on, which is great. Ryan's gonna be manning the queue this morning for those of you who are maybe uh, tuning into this after the fact. I say that because he's the only one on right now. We're gonna get started uh, right at nine. We got a couple moments before we do so. For those of you who are tuning in, uh, what I'm gonna start off by stating is uh, that I will not be uh, playing music today. So uh, if you do have music of your own, you can certainly play that uh, at home. We have uh, someone else coming in now. So we have someone else tuning in, which is great. Before I get into uh, starting the class, we're a minute out. So what I, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna start off by reviewing a disclaimer with everyone. So in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Force members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel becomes accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or a healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society Exercise Physiology and its reference document by clicking on uh, the links that are within the details of this class. So by continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is the possibility of physical injury and that you agree to do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any claims related to your participation within this telefitness class. All right, so uh, if you don't uh, have any resistance available uh, currently, that's something that you're going to want to uh, get ready for this class. Um, what I am going to do is I'm just going to start off by referencing the details. So if uh, you're, you're logged on, you can certainly uh, access those details to this class uh, as I review them. So today's focus is going to be uh, functional core strength. We're going to function on, uh, we're going to focus on this class to essentially try to build a nice, strong, stabilized core. And we're gonna do that today through a series of different muscular movements that are uh, fairly traditional, but some that are gonna engage uh, the core more specifically. What we wanna be doing throughout this class is we wanna really be focused on our mind to muscle connection, and we wanna keep that core contracted and engaged. And we wanna be doing this uh, to translate over into everyday activities that we do, whether it be at home, whether that be in the field. For those of you military members that are out there, it could, it could involve uh, sandbagging or picking and carrying and, and, and just that continual work that you need to do uh, that's gonna need that core strength or that core engagement. And we want that to try to uh, help avoid uh, any kind of future injury um, or injury within uh, any activity that we're doing. So. Today's class is gonna be broken down into two parts. Uh, part one is gonna focus on a series of four movements that we're gonna work through at, at, at a 50 second with 10 seconds rest. Uh, we're gonna do that actually for two rounds consecutive. So it'll be eight sets in total. Then we're gonna focus on taking a minute and a half to two minutes uh, recovery. And then we're gonna repeat that series two additional times. So by the time we're done, we'll have focused on doing six sets uh, in total. We're gonna take a little bit more rest. We'll move on to part two, which will then be the finisher. So for those who have followed any of my classes in the, in the past, all that we've done today is we've added on uh, an extra set. So that's gonna be our progression today. And I've been following uh, a similar class now or exactly the same uh, class for the last few weeks, but I've been building progressions on each week so that you can focus on continuing to improve well kind of getting better within those specific movement patterns and, and really trying to engage and focus on building that core strength. Um, a lot of it will be strength endurance, and I say that because there's going to be a lot of work. Uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of work with, with very little rest. Uh, with that being said, the class is designed for all fitness levels. So if you were to see in the description, uh, you can focus on a beginner, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, intermediate, 40 seconds 
work with 20 seconds rest. And if you're advanced, you'll work along with Terry and I. Uh, Terry will be the assistant today. And that'll be 50 seconds work uh, with 10 seconds rest. So depending on your fitness level, uh, you have a, a number of different options today. So I do recommend that you, uh, you make the modifications as you specifically need to. Um, another thing that can be done for those who uh, uh, would like is that you can focus on adding in extra resistance. Over the past few weeks, I've been adding extra weight onto my back and I've added some weight also into my bag. Uh, so I'm using a backpack today. Terry will be using uh, either a kettlebell or um, a laundry bottle. So these are some examples of things that you can use and this was also listed into, into the descriptions. So that's essentially the class for today. We're going to get into uh, just a, a demonstration of each of those movements. Then we'll jump into the warm up and we'll get started. So I'm going to have this class wrapped up uh, probably by 5-2, uh, if not uh, a little bit sooner. But I think once we get started, the actual work of today's class with the rest built into the main body will be close to 35 minutes. So with that being said, you know, that, that's why it's going to take us into about 5-2. Uh, uh, so adjust and modify as you need to, take additional rest, uh, reduce resistance as required. If you're feeling uh, any kind of discomfort that would be outside of the norm, specifically within joint, then I would just recommend that you uh, take additional, um, uh, uh, additional rest and recovery and you avoid specific movements that are causing that irritation. So finally, uh, just Ryan is on the queue, so if you guys would like throughout just go ahead and put anything that you'd like into the comments and, and Ryan will reply. So I'm now going to take a step back, uh, go through those exercises, and then we'll get started with the warm up. All right, so the first exercise we're going to focus on today, I'm just going to adjust this marginally just so that you guys can see kind of a full view here. As I have my backpack, I'm going to focus on the thruster with a squat. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down, I'm going to pick up my back pad, I've got a nice uh, flat back. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to use a little bit of a bend. I'm going to thrust it up. I'm going to bring it down under control. I'm going to move into a squat, and then I'm going to start the movement into the other side. Okay, so that's going to be our thruster. Uh, we're going to focus on single arm movements, and we're going to do that to try to engage the core more so. So the next movement we're going to focus on is going to be a push-up with a single arm plank. So we're going to come into the position. Back's nice and, and straight, retracted back, so shoulder blades are together. We're going to push up, we're going to come up, and then we're going to come up to the other side. So always keeping the body nice and controlled and adjusting in through as we need to. I'll give more cues once we're actually moving through the class. So we're going to do uh, a, a, single, uh, a single lunge with a, a single arm hold. So we'll be opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so we'll go halfway through and then we're going to switch sides. So the key will just be not to rest the backpack onto the shoulder. Uh, keep your arm just to the outside to maintain tension. And once again, we're going to really have to pay attention to what we're doing with our core. We want to focus on that mind to muscle connection. Always keep that contraction so that we're getting the work through the core that we're looking for today. And then the last movement we're going to focus on doing would be a stiff legged deadlift. So uh, knees are going to be slightly bent, think of it as a, also known as a Romanian. So we're going to pick up the backpack, uh, so nice flat, flat, flat back, chest is out. We roll up, we stand up, we come back down. So we're sitting back with the hips, we focus on engaging and come up. So the whole time the core is nice and tight, we're trying not to move from side to side as we're uh, moving our resistance, so we're in, engaging the core, keeping everything nice and tight and under control. So once again, we're going to go through each of those for 50 seconds. We're going to take 10 seconds rest. We're going to move through twice, and then we're going to move into our first rest period. So I will have the clock. You guys can follow along with us. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead. If you have any music at home that you want to put on, you guys go ahead and do so. We're going to move uh, into the warm-up. So the first thing I want to do is just to focus on moving on the spot. Let's focus on doing some shoulder rolls. As we're warming up, I do want to uh, uh, inform everybody of some of the promotions that are going on through PSP Garrison Toronto, PSP Southwestern Ontario. 
Uh, we just finished up our 5K race. Let's keep walking, but let's switch the shoulder rolls in the opposite direction. So the 5K race just took place last week. We've now moved into the 10K virtual run. So if members are interested, just go to the Harrison Toronto page, check out events, and you can look at registering uh, for that. So let's just focus on bringing the arms across. So I just want to loosen up through the upper body, through the lower body. Try to get into a good position here. So it's going to be important that we gradually get the blood flowing. Spring the arms up and down. We're just moving in on the spot. Let's focus on relaxing the arms. Let's just bring those knees up. Hopefully everybody's had a great had a great weekend while well rested. We had beautiful weather out here. Let's focus on bringing those uh, uh, heels back. So we're just bringing the heels in towards the glutes, trying to loosen up uh, the hamstring. So I do want to get the heart rate up a little bit, get the blood flowing. And like I said, it's going to be uh, a bit of a cardiovascular workout today. Let's jog on the spot. And that's going to be if you choose to continue working because the heart rate's just not going to get enough time to come down because it'll be more work than rest as discussed in the beginning. Let's move into some jumping jacks on the spot. Remember, soft knees as we land. We don't want to land stiff-legged. All right, let's walk it out. Let's just do some squats. Let's do five here on the spot. And let's remember hip width, shoulder width apart. We'll sit back. The depth is gonna be up to you. So it's gonna depend on where you're comfortable. We wanna stay nice and tall. Let's focus on some lunges. So we're gonna alternate here. Let's stay tall through the upper body, keeping the chest up and trying not to move overly forward. Let's keep the heel down on that front leg. And you can reduce your range as you need to. So let's just focus on coming up to the top of our mat. And let's just step back and then step back up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step down, come into a plank, let's step up. And let's do that a few times here. Alternating the leg that we step back with. I'm a little close to this bench here. All right, this time when we step down, let's just move into five push-ups. Keeping everything nice and controlled. Let's go wider with our feet here. And let's just focus on that side plank. So we're going to alternate from side to side for a few reps. And let's just bring it back up. So we're going to take a moment. Everybody can go ahead and grab a drink. As I mentioned, put that music on if you haven't already. You're going to move this in and out of the way. We're starting off with that, that thruster with the squat. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this set. Remember, Ryan's in the queue. He's going to answer any questions that you guys have. You're taking rest as you need to. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get it started. So we got a 15 second countdown. 
to make sure that we can hear this here. One second here. Technical difficulties. Here we go. So just go ahead, let's get it started. So we're starting off with that thruster. Control all your movements. So we're not necessarily worried about the speed. I want you to focus on the control. Resting as you need to. As mentioned in the beginning, Terry and I are gonna be working through 50 seconds, 10 second transitions. So in the past, being last week and the week before, I used some resistance on my back. I'm not gonna do that today. 8K run yesterday, my legs are a little tired. I'm still getting used to some of this. So we have 10 seconds, we're gonna move into our next transition. So I want you guys to come down. And we're gonna focus on the push up and then into the one arm plank from one side to the other. So it's gonna be easier if your feet are a little bit wider apart. We push up. And the alternate option is just to focus on leaving out the push up. You could always drop down to the knee. You could hold the plank. You can leave out the twist. Or you can come down to the knee, push up, and then focus on coming back up. So this would be bringing the knees down, pushing up, coming up, and then adding in our twist. The whole time, keeping that core nice and engaged. All right, let's bring it up. We're gonna come into that lunge now. I'm gonna step back slightly so you guys can see. Alternate arm, alternate leg. Just keep everything controlled. So halfway through, I'll focus on switching. Adjusting as you need to. Max always makes his cameos. Max is obviously our cat. Let's switch sides. Wanna keep everything nice and even. You're gonna notice that on the opposite side of your shoulder into your oblique, if you were to touch it, it's gonna be quite engaged. Naturally, your body's gonna to wanna to adjust to the weight being all on one side. All right, getting ready for our next movement. So we're focusing on that single arm row. So row. Up, try not to lock out at the top. Back down, row, and up. And we're gonna switch halfway. So back neutral or arched. And let's switch sides. So after we finish this, we're gonna move into recovery. During recovery, you guys can go ahead, grab a drink. Focus on catching your breath. Keeping that body square. All right, let's move into recovery. So I'm gonna pause this for a moment. You guys go ahead, grab a drink. You can let me know how everything's going. So just go ahead and put anything, any detail into the queue. So I'll go ahead and check that out. Ryan's obviously manning this here. So we're gonna rest for a minute and a half, up to two minutes, probably a minute and a half on the first one. And then we're gonna move uh, right back in. Oh, you know what? We only went through once there, didn't we? So that was my, that was my mistake here. So we're actually gonna keep it going. So you guys got a little bit of extra free rest here. So we'll go ahead, we'll get started again. Sorry if I had messed you up from home. Maybe subconsciously I was looking for some recovery. So 
Just keeping everything controlled here. So we're not worried about speed. We want to focus on the movements that we're going through. Adjusting as you need to. So once again, if you need to, you can take 30 seconds rest. You can always focus on a 40-20 or either working along with Terry. And uh, so not a bad thing. First round, just give you a little bit of rest while we're warming up. We're moving into the push-up with that side plank. So feet wider, push up and over. Let's control this as we go from side to side. And down, adjusting as we need to. So coming down to the knees would be absolutely fine. Even if you just wanted to work this upper position, core is engaged. We're keeping our body nice and straight. Almost there. So if you start to fatigue, just make the adjustment. As I mentioned, you don't have to work along exactly as we're doing. You can modify. Back, back up. Adjust this for us. And we're into the lunge. One side at a time. Balancing the resistance on the alternate side. Depth is up to you. Heart rate's probably up at this point. Let's switch sides. Stay nice and tall. Controlling our movement. Couple more reps. All right, bag comes down. Focus on the row, single arm with the Romanian deadlift. Controlling all movements. Keeping that core tight. Trying not to twist here. Your body's gonna wanna twist because all the weight's on one side. So on the opposite side, make sure you keep that, <laughs> make sure you keep that shoulder down and in line. Let's switch sides. Start with the row, and then into the Romanian. So this is where we build in the rest. So that was my mistake last time. These things do happen. Got a little bit of extra rest out of that. All right, so this is where we get the rest. So now go ahead, take a drink. What I'll do to offset that is we'll just take a little bit less rest. We'll do a minute and a half instead of two minutes. So go ahead, grab a drink, hydrate. So we're doing that two more times. Think about how you feel. So use this as an assessment period. And if you're feeling overly fatigued, then look at making some modifications. So the modification would be to take uh, more rest. Uh, so moving towards that 30-30 or that 40-20. Or just taking even more rest altogether. Maybe you only do one of the two sets. So you do four instead of eight. Or perhaps you reduce some of the resistance. So hopefully everybody's doing well out here. I'm just going to take a look here to see what we have for comments and on my glasses on so I get to go nice and close here. Good morning, Catherine. Cat, day one for Catherine today, the new fitness and sports instructor out of uh, London, Ontario, servicing Southwestern. We got Hannah here. This is good. So eight are in the class. So there's probably some of you 
who aren't necessarily from this area, which is great. I always get excited when I see new people. So if you guys want to comment, if you want to leave any feedback, if you have any questions, uh, Ryan's on the queue, as mentioned earlier. But it's great to see everybody out on a Monday morning. So let's go ahead, let's get started again. We're back to the top. So we're back into the thruster here. So we got our rest, it's time to get back to work. So keeping everything nice and controlled. Don't worry about speed. The level of work is what's going to focus on getting your heart rate up. So if you're like me, you're definitely perspiring, definitely recovered in that minute and a half. But it's all going to depend on your starting point, just in regards to how quickly you're going to recover. Just pay attention to how you're feeling. And we never want to compromise our form or our technique. So we just take extra rest as we need to. Be engaged in everything you do, mind and muscle. We don't want to focus on injury or end up in injury. So we're into that push-up. Feet wider apart is definitely going to make it easier. So star those feet, stagger them out. Push up, and then you can either hold the plank or you can come to the side. But I don't want you to move overly quickly. I just want you to focus on keeping everything controlled and ensuring that you're keeping your core nice and tight. So I'd rather you move slower and stay focused on what you're doing, ensuring that that core is engaged throughout the whole movement. So remember those modifications. When we go into the push-up, we can drop down to the knee. We can always come back up as we go to the side. Focus on your breathing. All right, we're into the lunge. And you can always focus on leaving out the resistance as well. Same thing here, focus on alternate arm, alternate leg. Don't rest the backpack on your shoulder. Focus on maintaining tension. Halfway through, we're gonna switch. Switch to the side. Alternate arm, alternate leg. Upper body is tall. So we're driving the arms to the ceiling, not resting the backpack on the shoulder. I'm not moving overly quickly. I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing, squeezing the core. So just as you would protect yourself if something was coming in, just focus on contracting it. So we're gonna Row, and then up. And we're gonna go right back through this a second time without building in the rest. So I want you to rest as you need to. So keep that core tight, keep it engaged, keep that back nice and neutral. So you're sitting back with your glutes. Now, if you haven't already, Let's switch sides. I don't like to rest at the top, so I also don't finish the position. I want to keep the tension on the hamstrings. So as you're lifting that weight in a single arm row, pay attention to where your body is. All right, 10 seconds. This is where I messed up last time. We're going right back into the thruster. And then the squat. Controlling our movement. Don't worry about speed here. I'm doing enough work. By the time we're done, we'll have done six sets of each of these exercises. Every round is eight sets. 
So approximately 30 minutes in total, and that's going to include the rest that's built in. So at any point, if you need to, just take a rest all together. You could always skip a couple of the movements. All right, so we're back into the push-up. I'm going to lower this again, just so you guys can see as you work along with us. So feet are wide, remember, push up. Nice and slow, just control. Pause for a moment in that end position. Control that negative. Adjust, leave out the push-up if you're getting too fatigued. Keep that body nice and straight, keep it stabilized. You can always focus on the negative with the push-up as well, which I'll demonstrate. So we can come down slow. We can support ourselves back up. And then go into the movement here. All right, great work at home. Definitely working up that sweat. And adjust this again. Lunge. Alternate. What? No, we haven't done the. Sorry. All right, sorry guys, Terry's throwing me off. Because I messed up before, I was inclined to listen. So we're, Terry's ready for rest. So just remember, Terry, you can take extra rest if you need it. Terry's a little stubborn, so I know she won't. She'll just work through it. So it's just fatigue. It's not, it's not anything uncomfortable for her. So she'll just mentally work through. I stayed in the beginning a little bit different. If you're getting joint pain or discomfort, that would not be normal. So we're moving into that single arm row with that Romanian style deadlift. This will be six sets through once we're done. Controlling the movement. Stay focused on what you're doing. Head is neutral with the body. Halfway through, we're switching, so let's go ahead and do so. Adjust your body as you need to. Keep that core tight. Focus on engaging. So as we come back, we're pushing the hips back. We're lifting, making sure that the upper body is flat. We're not moving from one side to the other. All right, now we get rest. So let's focus on taking this rest and recovery. We're going to take two minutes. So go ahead, catch your breath before we move through the next series. I'm going to restart that timer for rest. I wonder how everyone's doing out there. I'm certainly sweating a bit. Fix my, my, my hair a little bit. Got a nice haircut this weekend. There we go. Marissa's in here. Kim's in here. We got Terry's uh, encouragement out here from Hannah. Conquering a Monday. I would certainly agree. It's a great way to start the day. There's certainly no argument there. So we're just going to do that series one more time. For those of you who might have missed it in the beginning, the progression is the extra set. So last time we did uh, two and a half rounds through, um, uh, and today we're doing three in total. So in the last one last week, which would have been this round, we only did the one uh, round of four, but we're going to do the two rounds of four, making it eight sets. Then we're going to take the extra rest, and then we're going to move into part two. So just use this time to catch your breath. Get ready to work through the, the, last, the last round here. So we got approximately 10 minutes here, and then we're going to move 
What's that? Ten minutes. Oh, so I'm not. Yeah, so ten minutes before we move into part two. So uh, 20 seconds, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started. So we're going to be back into the thruster. So just remember, Ryan's in the queue. If you guys have any questions, if you want to leave any comments, I, I'll definitely be checking these after. I'll, I'll get back to you, answering any questions that you have. So let's go ahead and let's get through this last round. So three, two. All right, let's get it. Very important to still maintain that control. So I'm not going for speed here. I'm focused on everything that I'm doing. I'm keeping the core tight and engaged. It's constantly what I'm thinking about. And as I mentioned earlier, as we move from side to side with all these single arm movements and put the body's balance out of place, we're gonna naturally engage and control but I want you to pay extra attention mentally as we go through. So next movement again, you guys are familiar with this at this point. We'll be moving into the push-up with that side plank. So I'll adjust this down again. Modifying at home. So once again, feet are wider, they're going to be shoulder width apart or just to the outside. I'm controlling my plank here as I twist nice and slow because I want to keep everything tight and engaged. So remember to control your movements, focus on what you're doing. Don't just move through mindlessly. Remember, drop down to the knee if you get tired. You can also just stay in the top position. All right, let's move into the lunge. This is the one that Terry would want to skip. All right, single arm up above head. Step forward and back. We're almost through. You're adjusting at home as you need to, accommodating your own level. Depth in the lunge is up to you. Perhaps it's been getting too difficult holding the resistance up above head, so perhaps you're not anymore. We do this once again to try to further engage the core. Creating that disproportion. All right, moving into the row with the Romanian deadlift. Back's neutral. Row. Same control as before. Keeping the core engaged. Trying not to twist the body. It'll be easy to twist, especially because we have the resistance on the one side. So I want you to pay extra attention to this. Switch sides. Flat back. So chest is out, and we're moving our glutes back as if we were going to sit down. We're just not bending the legs into that position. All right, so uh, no rest here unless you need it. Moving right back into the thruster, and then after this one is when we're going to take the rest. So we're getting through this series again. So you can modify by getting rid of the resistance or lightening the resistance 
I like that single arm movement still being involved because it's going to force that core to contract as I had mentioned, and that's without even thinking about it. Now we're paying extra attention to this today. And whether you've realized it or not, the series that we're doing, although it's engaging the core, is still going to focus on total body. So we're into that push-up position. I'm going to lower this down again. Feet hip width, shoulder width apart. Reach up towards the ceiling. Think about forming a tabletop with your body. Leave out the push-up if you need to. Focus on the push-up from the knee. Control from side to side. So we're almost there. Keep that control. Okay, back into the lunge. So two more movements. We'll be through part one after this. So your heart rate's possibly up. It's because of the limited rest. So like I said in the beginning, because we're not adding in a lot of rest, if you're working along specifically with us, heart rate's certainly gonna get up into an aerobic zone. Let's switch sides, and let's continue through. Still maintaining control. We should be looking the same right now in our lunge as we did in the beginning. All right, last movement, then we're going to rest. We're going to go into part two of today's class. So feet are just outside the shoulder, flat back. Let's add in the row. So try not to twist at the shoulders, keeping the knees soft, pushing the hips behind us as we focus onto that Romanian deadlift movement. Switch sides. Head up. It's going to help to keep the chest up. So not necessarily looking up, but I mean keep it neutral with the back. Slightly forward would be okay. All right, great work, everybody. So that's part one that's done. So I just want everybody to go ahead, grab a drink, focus on your recovery here. We'll move into the finisher next. So awesome work at home. Feel free at this point to put anything in the comments. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. If you were here last week, you know, let me know if, it was, if you were able to get through the extra set. Let me know how that progression felt. You felt it, maybe you didn't. So I'll use this recovery time to go over the next series of movements that we're going to be doing. So it won't be time. But our, our finisher is going to consist of doing uh, a movement, a series of uh, exercises in a sequence. So we're gonna go from a squat to a reverse lunge, to a step down, to a push up, to a bird dog, to rotating planks, and then we're gonna step back up. So for the first time through, we're gonna focus on doing uh, six reps. So if it's uh, like a reverse lunge, it'll be six on each side, and that would apply to a side plank as well. Uh, and then this, we'll take a little bit of rest, we'll move into four and then two. So that's the series we're going to move through. So we're going to start that in 50 seconds. I do want to give a little bit more rest. And then following the, the finisher, we'll move into the cool down. 
And at that point in time, uh, I'll review uh, also some of the, uh, the things that I mentioned in the beginning, referencing some of the services that are being offered currently for those uh, who are interested at all in those. So grab a drink, use this time, let it not be wasted. And then we'll get started in 20 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna turn my position here. I'll lower this down a little bit so you guys can maybe see when I go to the ground. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. So on my cue, we're starting with six squats, squats, then six reverse lunges. So in three, two, one, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Step in and reverse lunge. One, two, stay tall. Three, four, five, six. Remember, we're going to 12. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now I want you to step back into the push-up position. And then from here, we're gonna do six push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So from here, let's step down. Let's go into the bird dog. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, into the uh, plank position, feet wide, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and six. So from here, let's focus on stepping up. So go ahead, take a breather, get your breath, grab a drink. We're going to focus on doing that again, but we're going to do four reps. But take a little rest in between. At this point, want to make sure that you got your guys' form is good. So pay attention to how you're feeling. Keep good form, good technique. If it's getting to be too much, just reduce the amount of reps or just, just sit one out. We're gonna do two more. So that's 30 seconds. Let's go back in, let's get started. The sooner we get started, the sooner we finish. So this time we're doing four. So in three, two, one. So it's one, two, Three, four, step in, step back. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, and four. Let's step out and down. And one, two, three, four, bird dog. One, two, three, four. Let's switch side. One, two, three, four. Up into the plank, feet wide, and from side to side. So one, one, two, two, three, Three, and four, and four. So step back up, take a breather. So we've got one more. 
So if that's been enough, then just start to recover. But we're going to go through one more time. Then we're going to move into the cool down. As I indicated in the beginning, my focus today is to wrap this up, or my intention is at 5-2. So 10 seconds, let's go ahead, let's finish this last one. Same series again, but this time just two of everything, so it's gonna move a little quicker. So in three, two, one. This is one, two, step back. One, one, two, two, push up, step down, one, two, bird dog, one, two, switch, one, two, plank, wide foot position, one, one, two, two, let's step back up. All right, awesome work, guys. Well done today. Part one, part two complete. Just walk it out on the slot, grab a drink. Definitely ensure that you guys are hydrated following the class. If you're like me, you've been sweating the whole time. So we're gonna look at trying to replenish some of the fluids. All right, I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit. Actually, I'll leave it down from when we go to the ground with stretching. So just moving around on the spot. So we're gonna gradually bring down the heart rate. Let's just bring the arms together in front of the body. And we're just gonna to try to spread the upper back. So try to pull the shoulder blades apart. We're gonna do a bit of a total body stretch here. So just keeping those feet moving on the spot. Let's focus on bringing the arms behind. And what we want to do is we want to push the shoulders down towards the ground as we push the chest out in front of us. So we're arching through the back as we push the chest forward and the head is staying neutral, trying to stretch out the chest. If you want to move forward and back, you can certainly do this as well. We're going to bring the heart rate down gradually. Let's bring the arms across, one arm across. We're grabbing just above the elbow, so on the side of uh, closest to the shoulder. And we're just applying some pressure with that alternate arm, bringing the bicep closer into the chest. And let's switch sides here. So as mentioned at the beginning, just remember, uh, uh, Garrison Toronto, Southwestern Ontario is running uh, a 10K now. We just finished our 5K. So take a look on our timeline, check our events. Uh, take a look at the videos. There's a, a ton of different series of videos that have been done. Uh, let's move to the tricep. So just remember to keep the head neutral. So keep the chin up off the chest. So there's a great video series by Marissa. Uh, it's a 10 part series. I believe the last uh, part was posted yesterday. So check out those videos on the Garrison Toronto PSP page. You might have, uh, you might have found this link off of the, uh, the Calf Connection National page where the virtual classes are scheduled and that's uh, five days a week, 12 hours a day. So there's obviously a lot of variety there. If you're coming off of that, just remember to check the pages that I mentioned. So that's PSP, so Western Ontario, PSP Garrison Toronto. You can follow us as well. So just relax here. Let's focus on bringing one leg forward, heel down, toe up, back is flat as we lift the chest uh, out in front of us. So remember to leave any comments that you have. Ryan's in the, the comments section now, but I'll check out all the messages after the fact. Let me know how, how you felt about the class. Let me know if you've been able to make progressions. I'd be curious to know. So as I stated in the, in the beginning, that this class has been one that I've done now for a series of weeks. Hopefully you've built that pattern 
uh, being able to do these movements more effectively, more efficiently. Two weeks spread out is a little bit of a, uh, of a time in between. Let's focus on coming down to one knee. So I want you to focus on uh, building a little bit of an angle from the back knee uh, in towards the hip. So we're kind of leaning forward slightly, but we're not leaning with the upper body. It's just the lower body that's coming a little bit forward. So tilt the hips forward and up here. So as I was saying, uh, there's progression built into this. It's been uh, this series of exercises with modifications in regards to essentially the amount of work that we've been doing over the weeks. So let's just switch from one side to the other. So I'd like to know how your progressions is going, if you've been able to make those adjustments from week to week. Maybe you've been doing these uh, twice a week because it is a total body and you certainly could do this uh, every other day or every second day. Uh, maybe not always in this amount of volume or intensity, but sometimes possibly modified. And then building in some of the other classes into the series as well. Let's come down into a seated position. Let's bring one leg over the other. Let's hug it in. So as promised, I'm going to wrap this up shortly. I just want to go through a couple more stretches. So in, uh, in closing, as it relates to the class, I'm just going to review. Let's switch sides. So today's focus was functional core strength. Uh, because of the work to rest, it was probably cardiovascular uh, based for some of you as well. So a bit of a circuit as it was for me. Uh, but the overall intention was to engage the core. Uh, and that was the emphasis throughout the class. Let's move to the side. Let's focus on a quad stretch. And we did this by moving through a series of exercises that were functional based, that were compound, but definitely engaged the core uh, by adding in a lot of the single movement uh, with the resistance, we were able, able to more so engage. We focus on doing this to try to build muscular strength, muscular strength endurance through the midsection. It'll enable us to do a number of different tasks, whether it be at home or in the field, more effectively. And these are things like digging, sandbagging, pick and carry, or whether it be at home doing yard work, taking out the garbage, things of this nature. You're going to want to keep functional, keep that core nice and strong. And that was certainly the emphasis today. So that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the class. Uh, you can certainly uh, uh, DM me, so direct message me, Jordan Begin, or you can leave some, uh, some questions or comments in the, uh, in the comment section. But thank you very much for attending. Uh, you guys have a great day.